Hey everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time doing another film review, and this one is on Lady and a Tramp 1955 film review. Now, as you know, Lady and a Tramp is a 1955 musical romance film that was produced by Walt Disney and released by then uh, Bezza Films. films as well as being the 15th of the Disney animated feature films. And Lady and the Tramp, I would say, is more of a game changer. I think there is a message that it definitely told quite well. And the premise of the film is meant to take place in 1909, where we see how Jim Deer and Deer gives his wife Darlin a cocker spaniel puppy, which they name Lady. And over time, we do see Lady grow into a full grown dog and ends up getting her own collar, which is known as a license. And I think Lady's character works because it seems like everything's alright with her life and seems like he's got everything he wants now. Until one day she sees that Jim Deere and, and Darlin are acting strange. And we see how Lady's friends, Jock and Trusty, say that they're preparing for a baby. And of course, this is where we kind of see how Lady's world gets turned upside down. And this is kind of like where she's kind of needs to accept and even know that life moves on, people move on. And things change. And of course, once the baby's born, we see how Aunt Sarah comes into the picture as well. And I really don't see Aunt Sarah as a bad guy. Like, she's an overprotective aunt. She just is looking out for her nephew. And we see how Jim, Deer, and Darling decide to go on vacation. And this is where, after an incident that leads to one incident, Lady ends up running off and ends up meeting Tramp. I would say Tramp's character works, like he's this guy who knows the ropes and life of being a street dog. And you can kind of tell over time we do see how Tramp and Lady get roped into both their worlds. And both of them, them sort of slowly fall in love and end up kind of going and seeing places and all that. And I think, to me, unlike most Disney films, Lady and the Tramp is a slice of life story. As there is a message with Lady about accepting the, the changes and even the, the new things that will come into your life. And the point of Tramp is a, mainly about finding what's more important than life on the streets. And I think it definitely works. And I think for the most part, the film really knows how to be quite mature with its story. Like, we kind of see how, how Trant goes back to help Lady in dealing with a dangerous rat when it tries to attack the baby that they do well at. And one, we do see how Trusty tries to help Tramp when he's getting a taken away to the pound. That actually does work. And I think for the most part, yeah, it's kind of interesting how with Lady and Tramp, there's been so many parodies. From The Simpsons, Rugrats, Family Guy, and so many other stories. And I think Lady and Tramp really didn't need to be special or anything. It's just a simple slice of life story about accepting the possible changes on your life. And finding what's more important. I also know there was a director video sequel, Lady and the Tramp 2 Scamp's Adventure, that was released in 2001, and a live action CGI hybrid remake that came out in 2019. But I think for me, I do like Lady and the Tramp. It sort of doesn't need to go with a big, over-the-top story. It doesn't take you to another realm or a sort of fantasy story. It's just seeing two dogs 
being roped into one adventure and more of a day in the life story. So I definitely think Lady and the Tramp definitely deserves two thumbs ups. Still good and still alright. So, quick of you here, signing out.